in your entertainment this week. Have you looked at your cable bill lately? Turns out you're not just paying for TV channels. Your cable company is also charging you every month for rent on your cable box. Consumer Reports is pushing for change and a choice for cable customers. Nearly all of the 53 million cable customers in the U.S face a monthly charge to rent their cable boxes. Those bills mount up and cost the average household $231 a year. They also generate nearly $20 billion a year in revenue for the cable industry. Consumer Reports has a campaign to push Congress to end what it calls the cable boxopoly. The Federal Communications Commission is now collecting public comments on new rules for cable boxes. The final rules will need to be approved by the FCC. As the future of gaming continues to take on new molds heading into the future, game developers are looking toward testing your skills in addition to your chances with Lady Luck. In 2016, skill-based gaming is huge, and as a new generation of gamblers begins dabbling with the idea of heading into casinos, the rules are changing to include options where what you're good at can win you a few bucks. Last year, Nevada approved legislation to offer skill-based games on the casino floor. Experts are projecting the skill-based games could bring in millions of dollars locally. Walt Disney Studios said Wednesday it is teaming up with director John Favreau for a live-action version of the hugely popular animated film The Lion King, which is on the fast track to production. The project follows the technologically groundbreaking smash hit The Jungle Book, directed by Favreau, which debuted in April and has earned $965.8 million worldwide. In addition to Jungle Book, the new Lion King will join Maleficent, Cinderella, and the upcoming Beauty and the Beast as part of Disney's wave of animated films or characters from them turned live action. This has been your entertainment this week. I'm Alicia Cook for News 46.